you talked about maybe Obama might be the last president. Since then, he made a statement about running for a third term, wishing he could. F talk about that more. Well, the thing that everybody had better watch, Obama knows what I know. There's only two people in this world that can stop him from his agenda, which is to dedicate and make himself king, using the FEMA provisional government. And Alex, you've covered FEMA for years, so don't let anybody fool you. It's out there. They're waiting to do it. But Obama wants to be that person. And there's only two people that can stop him, Bill and Hillary Clinton, that have the power to match him. The key to this is watch Joe Biden. If Joe Biden gets in the race, then you can count on it with everything you got. Obama's planning to stay. And he's going to do what he's got to do to be able to stay there. Now, the question is, do you want Obama to be comes? You've got Hillary. She's waiting for her day. And if she can just get in this election, then she will make it collapse. Now, Alex, it's a question of whether we, the people, want to be an Islamic caliphate under Obama and lead him to global power as the leader of Islam worldwide, or do we want to become a communist country under Hillary, with Hillary appointing Bill Clinton, which I know she's going to do with that. I, I might months. choose the but Muslim the thing other than being a commie. <laughs> huh? I might choose the Muslim deal over being a communist. I, well, I'm telling you, Muslims cut your head off. Commies just put you in prison. I, you know, it's a six one or another. But I will say this: within six months, Hillary will appoint Bill Ambassador to the UN, and then because of what they've been doing in the UN with the Clinton Foundation, within six months of that, they plan on him being the Secretary General of the United Nations, or in other words, the leader of the UN. Can you imagine they will have achieved what they told me about in 1986? They want to be the most powerful couple ever in the history of the world. I skipped the network break. This is so cliffhanger and so key. Go back to those talks because Clinton has now said, it was like a decade after you said it on my show, that he wants to be the leader of the UN with Hillary down the road being co-president, and then they bring in the world government. And then Obama, I didn't used to buy into this, but really he is trying to set up a caliphate. He is fighting right. the radical Islamicists. There is a takeover. He is doing it through Kenya. I mean, it's such double dealing. I guess they really are, like, on their own teams trying to get global domination. Talk about that more. Well, you know, that's the problem, Alex. We've got the best government money can buy. The problem is the people in America don't have money to buy it. But you now have two distinct people trying to get control of this nation. And it's all going to hinge on a thing called the FEMA Provisional Government Plan. Whoever is president when a crisis is declared nationally, when that day comes, whoever's president becomes king. Now, the way that works, so people will know, whoever's president takes total power. There is no vice president. Number two is the commander of the Joint Chief Staff. All congressmen senators go back to their home states and they become the government there now what that does is the president when that happens becomes king and the only person that can call the crisis over is the president and as you know nobody's going to do that in 1986 the clintons found out about this and Bill and Hillary both came to me and said, we want to be there that day. Get us there. Well, we joked. Alice, can you imagine back in 1986, Bill Clinton and us, all of the guys that were on the kitchen cabinet and him saying he wanted to be president? And we're going, oh, yeah, sure, of course. Well, we devised a plan to make him president, but we figured the womanizing and all that stuff would get him. So it was a joke. But we started looking at reality. If we ever got him there, if he couldn't crash in FEMA when he was president, then you had four out years, which were the years when his term ended, and then Hillary would run. Well, you know what happened? She got beat by Obama because she didn't follow our playbook. She's following it now. That's why I can tell you every second what Hillary's doing. I can tell you, don't worry about all of this email stuff, except all of this sudden, in comes Alec, the FBI. Now, remember, Obama just appoints a new head of the Justice Department, a new director, you know, the attorney general. And all of a sudden, this attorney general sticks the FBI 
on these FBI files. Now, Alex, let's tell the truth about that, buddy. Number one, if they prosecute Hillary over the FBI or over the emails, it'll never happen. Because, you see, if they prosecute her over that, Alex, then she's going to say, well, then I've got to use these classified emails as my defense. Well, when she says that, then the federal judge is going to say, well, you can't use that stuff as your defense. And then, therefore, he's going to throw the case out. He has to throw the case out. The Clintons know this. But there's one thing laying right there. Obama's got Biden getting in that race. They're going to kick Hillary down and kick her down. And if they can get Biden in, Alex, it's over. It's over. It'll never happen. There won't be an election. Obama's going to have a right. I think you see the intensity now over this Black Lives Matter. That's what I wanted I to raise. Working at the highest levels of this, even as the New York Times admitted you are one of Clinton's top people uh, in there in the original planning. Obviously, I can see the angles of it, destabilization, all the problems. But the boldness of having Democratic Party operatives running, admittedly, all these kill-the-cop groups, they think they can get away with that. I guess they will. They will get away with so it. So what's the point of it? Well, the point is, this is a between the Clintons and the Obama. I don't say Obamas, I mean Obama. And where do we sit? Where do we, the people, sit in the middle of this? Well, we have got to stand up, Alex, and your program is part of it. We've got to stand up and declare we're not going to take it. And we can through states' rights, but we got to get to moving on it or it's over. But just sit back, folks, and know, I'm, hey, I'm not here telling you about Obama. Look for yourself. Do you really believe that all of these, these Black Lives Matter things are really occurring just out of the blue? Do you not think it odd that Obama has not sent his Justice Department to shut this stuff down? Hey, Alex, you get out there and tell your audience, hey, let's go kill a cop. See how long you can move around. I'm going to be arrested See, in about two hours. Until you're in jail. Yeah. So you know that's out there. Well, then you got to ask why, folks. I'm not trying to get you to buy into a pig in the poke. I'm asking you, ask yourself why. Why is it when Obama was elected, we were told, oh, thank God, race is finally over. And he's done everything in his power and then some to make race a hotter issue now than the day the man came in. And if you don't believe he is working hard to get these riots activated, and when the riots, the riots get activated, Alex, here's the part people don't understand. When these black mobs start running wild and shooting wildly into the neighborhood, you know what people are doing in this country? They'll call up and say, please send the government and stop it, protect us. We will call for the federal government to come in and protect us. We will call for the civil emergency. We will. We'll be the ones asking for it because, you know what, we'll be scared. We'll be scared. Now, I'll tell you something else, you might as well know, and y'all going to think I'm crazy, but get ready to grease the banana truck because I'm fixing to tell you. There's a reason Cuba, we normalize relations with Cuba. Alex, you know, you've talked to enough military people yourself, and you know Obama has gone through and selectively purged the military for anybody that would dare to not take his orders under a crisis condition in this country. They're gearing up. They're getting everything lined up. It up. Well, watch this, folks. You see, Obama and his people, and I'm sure the generals have told them, when it comes to telling American soldiers to crack down on the people of America, they're not going to do it. They're not going to do it. It'll end pretty quick. So what has Obama done? He's gone to the one military force that I personally ran into in Nicaragua. He's got the Cuban military that will be brought in here under the auspices of augmenting, augmenting our military to help keep us in line. You know, I'd laugh at that, except I remember it was in the Washington Post after I saw it in restricted documents that were leaked about 14 years ago, right after 9-11 where they were saying in the Washington Post, we'll have Canadian and Mexican and other Latin American troops in America during a civil emergency. It predates Obama and the Clintons. And then it expanded uh, to where they're now openly pushing this idea again. And so we know they have a plan for a multinational force once there's a civil war. 
uh, but that does make a lot of sense. And the Pope's coming here to call for socialism and world government. I mean, everything's really moving fast now. Everything is moving according to an area of time and has it as you get closer to an event, time compresses. And that's where we're at. But now remember, why Cuba? Why did we have to normalize relations with Cuba? Because that's the only place that has a standing army within two hours can put 200,000 troops on our ground. Europe can't do it. Russia can't do it. And by the way, you ain't doing real good getting along Well, that's what they Russia. do in Red Dawn is they dress Cubans up like Mexicans, fly them in on jumbo jets with the noses popping off. And, yes. and, and used to I'd say this is crazy, even though I knew the Soviets had a plan to do this. But the thing is, they're so crazy, Obama's now renaming mountains like a dictator. I mean, now they're just getting us ready. That was one of the things that we did under Clinton. Clinton would say, well, how am I going to hide this? I'll say, put it right under their nose. That's where nobody will find it. Put it right there. Nobody will believe it. When we say things, Alex, think about the things you have said. Think about the things I've said with you over the years. Remember when they were said that was crazy? It was even crazy that was so far. Well, I know they're thinking about martial law. That's admitted. And I know the White House is trying to start a race war. I mean, who knows what's going to happen next?